In this video, we will be studying about the fiscal policy and some general suggestions to control the inflation. So your fiscal policy is, it is the revenue and expenditure policy of the government. So fiscal policy means any policy which is related to your the revenue, the incomes or the expenditure. So number first policy is check on public expenditure. So during inflation government expenditure is kept under check so that demand for goods and services in the economy does not rise. So in this case what government do? Government reduce its own expenditure so that the demand if they are reducing their expenditure which means they are reducing the demand. So government re reduces its own demand in order to reduce the inflation in the economy. Public debt. Public debt is allowed to rise through public borrowers. This reduces purchasing power of the people. So what government do? Government take the loans from the public. In that case, if the government takes loan from the public, which means it is reducing its purchasing power for the public. Public have less money with them. So in that case, less money means less demand, less demand which prices will reduce in the economy. Increase in taxes. If the government increases the taxes, which means it is reducing the real income or the disposable income of the people. Thus, it reduces the purchasing power of the people, reducing the demand and thus reducing the prices. Surplus budget policy. The government pursues the policy of a surplus budget. It is a policy by which government expenditure is lowered while the revenue is increased. So in this surplus budget policy, expenditures are less than the revenues or incomes. So if the uh, government expenditures are reduced, by revenue which means government is reducing its demand so demand will come down ultimately the prices will come down in the economy so these are the fiscal policies which will help you controlling the inflation in the economy some general suggestions to control inflation now what you will suggest to the government number one is check on the supply of money if there is inflation reduce the supply of money in the economy so people have less money less demand less uh, lower the prices check on deficit financing the government should take less loan the government should take less borrowing so that the government expenditure is reduced the expenditure is reduced means demand reduced demand reduced means prices will fall down increase in agriculture output which means increase the supply of goods and services in the economy. If you'll increase the supply of goods and services in the economy, it will meet the increasing demand. Thus, the prices will not change in the economy. They will be stabilized. Tax uh, increase, increase the taxes so people will have less purchasing power. So they'll, they'll demand less. If they'll demand less, there will be less prices in the economy. Distribution to fair price shops. If there is inflation in the economy, it will affect more largely on the poor section of the society or the people living below poverty line. So the necessity goods and services should be distributed through this public distribution system to these ration shops in order to at least give them the necessity goods six is check on
holding which means the producer do not uh, hold the stock do not uh, you know uh, do the black uh, marketing in order to hold the stock so that the prices and if the supply is reduced so the prices of the goods will increase in the economy so the government should check the hoarding that the uh, producer is not keeping the output or the goods himself or the goods blocked rather than it will uh, the producers are supplying the goods in the economy so these with this we completed the inflation topic i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us